Hey there, this is Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to do a quick disclaimer here first. If you have a monitored alarm system or a self-monitor alarm system via alarm.com, you're going to want to make sure that your system is either in test mode or self-monitored. You will get a tamper alert when you pull the batteries out of most any 2 gig sensor. Uh, other than that, this is just a quick video on changing the battery on various 2 gig sensors. Thanks a bunch. Hey, so the first one of these we're going to do is with the Smoke 3 sensor from 2GIG. To release the Smoke 3, it'll obviously be mounted to your ceiling and turn it counterclockwise. It's going to uh, trigger the tamper, so you may hear your alarm tamper, and you may have to go reset that on your alarm, which is super simple. And you can see I'm releasing the three AAA batteries. We recommend Panasonic batteries, and there's links below for all the 2GIG uh, sensors, whether it's AAA, CR2s, CR2032s. And all I'm going to do here is place the uh, batteries back in. And when you place these back in, it press, presses down plastic clips that allow this thing to pop back on your ceiling. So if you just had an issue and you're trying to put this back up, you can't do it without having batteries installed. It will not slide back on its bracket. And then turn this thing clockwise once you've set it. And it'll lock back in place. And last, with any 2 gig smoke detector and any smoke detector in general, you generally want to replace these by the expiration date, which is the tag I've shown there. And I uh, hope you liked the video. These are just simple replacement battery videos for customers and YouTube audience. Thanks a lot.